Hello everyone, this is Nighthawk here, and welcome back to another one of these uh, Dragon Ball Z She Figure Arts action figure unboxing videos that I have. Wow, that was a long intro. Um, you're probably wondering what character do I have this time that I've bought off of Amazon. Um, fun fact, I did not buy this next uh, this one off of Amazon. Uh, I got it from a place I'd never expected to come from. So today, I have... Dragon Ball Z She Figure Arts Vegeta. And this is from, I think, the Saiyan Saga. Yeah. And as you can tell, the background that I have on my wall is all painted. The board or picture that I have up there, all gone. So we're going to open this guy up and take a look and see what we got. And then, since we're getting on uh, ready to move and everything, getting packing stuff up. I'm not gonna, and I've boxed up all my action figures and collectibles, so what I might do is when I get done with this video, is just box it back up again. So like, because it just makes sense to box it back up. So when I get other ones, I can make more videos and post them. So, uh, I'll just cut right to that, and when I see you guys, I'll be back when I have opened this character up. Okay, so I just opened him up, and he... He actually looks really good, for what it's worth. Um, and I said that you guys will probably want to know where I got this from. I did not get this off of Amazon. I actually bought this at uh, Barnes & Noble, which you would never have think to, you know, find an action figure like this. But uh, I did. And they had a few more of them there, but they were really expensive. I was only able to buy one. And I... With my birthday coming up in like a month or so, and I ever having a garage sale of selling a lot of my stuff, I can probably buy a little bit more. So, let's, what I see here is we got more basic hands, more adjustable hands we can uh, take out, which is pretty cool. Uh, looks like we have a hand that's crushing the scouter, which she does in the, in the show. We have another scouter, which doesn't really have any uh, anything on. Let me see if I can focus doesn't have any of the basic, you know, signals or, like, readings on it. The two basic arms that you can put to justice, because it's basically, this is one big thing, it's just folding it up. Uh, we have a, a Saiyan tail, because if you can see underneath there, there's a tail right there. We could probably just stick that out from behind. Uh, we got some Vegeta heads, which look really cool. And I'm assuming... You can put these on this head, and if I buy like, or if someone buys like this uh, Dragon Ball Z she figures Super Saiyan Vegeta, it doesn't come with a basic head. So I'm wondering if the reason why this is here is for the super for the regular Vegeta head, which is the suit he wears now. And as I'm looking at this Vegeta, I'm pretty sure this scouter can come. Off. Yeah, this scouter can come off, and see it has like. All the readings on it. So you can actually take that off of the Vegeta we have. And I'm, I'm, I just, the thing is, I don't know how you, oh, I see. There's something behind the ear. Yeah, something behind his, uh, his left ear. Oh, hang on. I want to see how this works first before I show you guys the next thing for this character. It just snaps on. So now, he has the scouter where it's not showing any readings. That's pretty cool. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch this back out for the other one. So when I put it back in the box. But actually, you know what? Before I put it back in the box, I want to go through all the other cool features. So as we can see, uh, look, I've actually seen stop motion videos with this character in it. So it looks like these can go up to a pretty high extent. Um... This one really can't because the tail's in the way. Um, let's see his ooh, his legs. His legs do pretty good. His feet. His I've noticed that he actually stands a little bit better than some of the other characters. But his feet move really well. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. His legs do really good. Okay, so I guess that can. Uh, I guess that really works. I like that. It's good, it's good. Oh, his foot. 
This foot seems a little, uh, seems a little wonky today. Uh, and as you can see that these move, I'm wondering if these come off. No, they don't come off. They may look like they come off, but they don't. Uh, let's take this off and uh, let's see if we can get the other arms on Vegeta. Let's see, this, this is, yep, this is. Hmm. This might be difficult. Ah, I dropped it. And maybe it is a good thing that I'm opening this oh opening this up now because if there's anything wrong with it, I can just return it. Oh shoot. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. Well, guys, it appears that uh, <clears throat> his um his arms. I mean, the character itself looks good, and everything seems really, really, seems fine and perfect, but, um, and I, I should have gotten the feeling of when I, because when I was looking at the crossed arms and everything of what it looked like, his right arm seemed to be a little wonky. Uh, I thought it was just because it wasn't pushed in all the way. Uh, it, it turns out that, uh, no, that's not good. Man. Oh, well, guys, you might have to return this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Dang it. These arms that the the two arms that they have for him, they don't snap in here. They don't snap into his arm socket. They don't snap into there. Oh no! E literally everything else is perfect except for the two arms. That's that's literally it. I mean. I can get his left arm in pretty good, and it stays there, too. Yeah, the left arm's fine. The left arm really seems to stay in. The right arm, on the other hand, does not want to stay in. And as I'm looking at the character design, it looks like it's pushed in. It looks... The, the little arm socket that they have for it looks pushed in. It looks like it got... I don't know what happened to it, but it looks like it got pushed in. That's really strange. I wonder if I could just... Because it looks like... I'm wondering if I could just get some tweezers and pull it out. Hang on. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. I got some tweezers. I'm gonna see if I can pull this out real quick. And I just hit the camera. Crap. Cause the left arm's fine. Left arm really seems to stay in. Uh, I lied. Yeah, I lied about the left arm. I couldn't get to like. I couldn't get it to. I guess I didn't push it in far enough. Okay. I didn't want to get like any really really sharp tweezers to where it would like pinch off. But. Oh shit, yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I 
That's not working either. Oh no, come on, are you serious? Oh no. I can't even get the, I can't even get to pull out. Yeah, I can't even, I can't even get it. Well, that was all the tweezers, guys. I used all of them. <clears throat> Ouch. It's, it's just, it just doesn't want to go in. <sighs> Son of a bitch. It was, my day was going so well, guys. And then this happened. So right now, I'm trying to see if I can get this to... I'm trying to see if I can get this to pop out again. Ah, shit, man. That is like, that is like t locked in tight. Use some of these tweezers again. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. Um, okay, it turns out I popped the thing off. I mean, it, it looks like I can slide it back in. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I can, maybe I can slide it back in. Just gotta see how. Oh wait, it looks like it's this way. <gasps> I got it. Now I gotta be able to get the arm on. That's why it was. <gasps> okay. Oh. Oh, thank God. I swear to God, I thought we'd have to return this and get another one, and wait a while because this was the only one they had left. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, you guys have no idea how relieved I am. Woo! Okay. <clears throat> oh my god, my heart. Okay. So, the arms are good. I'm wondering if this one might need to... No, this one seems fine. I guess I just need to push it in more. But yeah. Seems really good. Seems... Really good. Really good. Okay. Now, let's try the changing of the tail, the hands, and the head before we get too excited. So I can see that the tail is able to come out, but can it be taken off? Okay, so it looks like it doesn't, it's not able to be taken off, but it looks like I can just. Oh, maybe it can. Oh, it can. Oh! <gasps> Oh, okay, I see I see how they I see how they have it. I see how they have it. So the tail we have here, it looks like you could just just place it in, but this tail locks it in. Oh, that's cool. So then you just put the other one in and there you go. Tail. It's really cool. Oh, just locked the other one back into place. Okay, so now I know how the tail works. So that's 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 good. 
That's good, really good. Okay. Now it's time to see how the hands work. Oh wow, that came off easily. Oh, but putting them on might be a little bit harder. No, wow, that was that was really easy. Holy crap! Yeah, that was really easy. I'm gonna edit some of this out just in case. Okay, wow, that was really easy to put on and take off. Is this, is this right hand or left hand? That's right hand. Yeah, wow, that's really easy to... Wait, is that right hand or is that left hand? Well, it's on the... Oh, wait, no, it is left-handed. Yeah, that is left-hand. Okay. Well, now at least we can see... How the head works. Let's see how the head does it. The, oh wow, this looks tough. Oh, this one might be a little bit tougher. Oh, oh wow. Okay. There we go. There. Okay. So. Yeah, if you notice, because I know that the two scatters can come off of Vegeta, and like I said, I just wanted to make sure that this head was for, uh, the, if you get the Super Saiyan Vegeta one. Okay, that's, oh, that's relieving. <clears throat> okay, and I will say this, um... The changing of the heads for this Vegeta are actually really stiff, so the face won't ever... It doesn't seem like it's gonna, ever going to fall off or fall out. Where's the... Here it is. So that, that's, that's really good. So probably... If I had to guess, this is probably like the stiffest character, or this character is like really stiff, so it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like his, anything's going to fall off or break anytime soon. But that's really good. Oh, i got to take the arms off now. So, okay, let me just put the uh, scouter back on. Did that click? Oh, shit. <laughs> I dropped it. I dropped it again. Oh my god, this is actually, this is kind of a pain to put on. Well, I guess this is a good time as, uh, good time as ever to see how the head comes off right this is how I put it on okay just snap it on there Okay, there we go. Now let's try taking the arms off. Oh my god. Who knew that that, the, the one for the arm, for the right arm had to be tucked in more. Wow, sh I, honest to god guys, I, oh sh ah crap. <laughs> the scatter came off again. I'll worry about that in a minute. But yeah, that's that's really, really good to know. Really glad I fixed that before I almost ended up returning it. I'm glad I messed up when I was trying to fix it. Now I can put the arms back the way they were when I got it. And for some reason, this is not wanting to come back around. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on. And see, the folding of the arms for these characters, I don't, I don't like them. I don't use them. So I just have, I just keep them just because. Because they're still, a, they're still a part of the figurine. Yeah. 
There we go. So Vegeta is now back to normal and the arms are ready to go again. So I I will say this, I apologize for all the cursing I did because I was I was scared. I didn't know what was going to happen. I'll probably edit some of it out. So, yeah. So if you guys like this video, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what character, uh, or if, if you think this character looks cool. Um, if you guys know anything about Dragon Ball Z, let me know if you have any recommendations for characters. Because when I was at the Barnes & Noble, they had a kid version of Krillin. They had, I think, a teenage Bulma uh, Majin, they, they had two new ones. They had Majin Buu and Mr. Satan. So those guys are pretty new. And they had, like, a bunch of, uh, effects. So, like, a bunch of yellow and blue stands you can put around them so it makes it look like they're charging up from the show. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. Leave a like and subscribe. This is Nighthawk, and I will see you guys in the next video.